Hello everyone, I am uh, I am back basically. I have used my new camera. I'm back for another update for Minoxidil beard journey. For all the people that are following me, for all the people that subscribe to my channel, I am very thankful for for all the subscriptions and like and and all the comments that you guys are are um, are very encouraging. If you haven't subscribed, for all the people that are new to my channel, uh, I have art stuff, I have music stuff, I have travel videos. As you guys can see, I did shave my beard. I haven't done an update for a long time. I only had to apply it once, once a day, ever since. Um, but because of all my my work schedule, but I did shave it off. It did grow after after one week. It did. I didn't lose any of my hairs. It is growing, so I'm thankful for that. I didn't lose anything. Frequently asked questions about minoxidil, so we're gonna try to answer most of it. We're gonna try to answer some of those. Number one question is is what basically is minoxidil? Is widely used, you know, in 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 the medical field, uh, used as a to lower blood pressure for for people that has hypertension so me as working in in as a nurse in the medical field um it's one of those um, high blood pressure medications but it has a side effect so the side effects of it is it stimulates hair growth so the second question does minoxidil really works me before i did apply it i i did a lot of research I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and and I've seen um, so much change to to a lot of people out there. Even you know me as a nation, as a nation guy, I know that we can't really grow thick beard. Some of us can, but but um, but we can't really grow that thick beard that a lot of the Caucasian people has usually. I'm still on the process of of knowing if it's actually effective but I did as as you can see I did grow some ve the velus hairs that I had was like really thick so I'm really thankful about that the one year because that's what they usually um, that's what the usual span of, of time that they want you to use minoxidil. Uh, minoxidil is actually used for people that are having baldness not um, alopecia. In Oxidil, there's a topical solution and there is a foam solution that that you can use but the one that I have is the the Minoxidil 5% um, topical solution. I bought it at Amazon um, for I think it's for 70 I would say 80 bucks plus tax and shipping so that's around $100 but it's good for one year it's the topical solution you can apply it anyways it's the topical solution we will go on to the third question how do you apply minoxidil so I'll show you in the video so basically you start by washing your face um, with the Nivea scrub any scrub should do or even soap or anything that you guys are using you can use that pat dry so make sure it's everything is dry and so this is the product that I'm using the VMN so at this point I'm just measuring it make sure it's one mil one mil on the drop from the dropper so basically you apply it on your cheek area you want the hair to grow so on the jawline itself so I'm just rubbing it I'm just using my free hand um, so I'm just applying it to the chin area to the to the jaw as well um, some people will use gloves but it depends on how you want it one how to apply it but I want to apply it with my bare hands that's fine and I'll just wash my hands after and there you go make sure you wash it and we're good how long how long do you actually have 
to use minoxidil. For you to actually have uh, a result, to see an actual result, is that when you reach the the 11 week to 12 and to 15th week, and that's equals to, I think that's three months. I think so, like around three months. You will see a big change to to your to to your beard. Usually you will see a big change for for growing a beard. Use it for a year because that it tends that the um, the vellus here tends to to fall out if you stop using it. So make sure you use it for one year to make sure that the minoxidil, I mean the vellus hairs are are fully grown. The side effects. A lot of people are asking me about side effects. Um, the side effects I did it, it varies for people, for other people, but um, the normal side effects is that you get dizziness, nausea, and vomiting at worst um, case scenarios, palpitations, which I had, so increased heart rate, like a jumpy feeling, that's what that's what it is. Um, a severe headache, I did experience that on my first to second week, the severe dryness. So for that, I did use the Nivea Men um, moisturizer which really helped me a lot for controlling that dryness. And also the, uh, I'm promoting Nivea, but it's really good product that they have. Um, so I scrub my face before I apply minoxidil for the facial scrub of Nivea. And I applied the moisturizer. I mean, before that, I applied the minoxidil and applied the, mono the moisturizer afterwards. So that's what how I did control my my skin dryness. Nose bleeding, which is very concerning. So if you experience nose bleeding, please see your doctor or stop using minoxidil because that is a serious matter and that can be fatal because that means it's it's circulation. So it's it's going into your to your system. So we don't want we don't want to see that because that's gonna be fatal and and make sure you see your doctor and tell them that <clears throat> you were using this topical solution and, and to see what what the doctor can do at that point which is better the foam or the topical solution um, personally I didn't apply I mean I didn't use the foam solution because I've seen based on my research my research I've only seen a lot of people using the topical solution, not the foam solution. I don't know, it's just me, but I'm, I heard same results for the people that are using the, the, the foam solution. If you guys, uh, I'm, I'm, I wanted to know which is better how we, for the people out there that are using the foam, please comment. I want to know how the the foam is working for you guys because I, I really wanted to try it too um, but at this point I wanted to use up all of my my uh, <laughs> my topical solution it is when can you wash your face after applying minoxidil you wanted to keep it for at least three to four hours on your skin so in that way your your skin is absorbing all of that solution and it goes under your skin to the actual follicles because if you wash it too early the the solution itself it's it's still you know probably some of it like goes to the to the hair follicles but not most of it so make sure you you soak it in you let it dry on your skin and then you can wash it at what age is safe to be used by. There's a certain age for people that you can use minoxidil. So based on on Mr. Google, <laughs> Wikipedia, um, I'm not saying that this is like for, I've, I have a lot of um, guys out there that are asking me because they're saying that I'm 19 years old, I'm 18 years old, can, you, can I apply minoxidil? Um, to be honest, in, you know, for working in a medical field, 
our body system is is um, when you're young, when you are 18 years old or 17 years old or 16 years old, um, most of your system, most of your um, integumentary system or or the hair follicles in your system are not fully grown. So make sure you reach 18 years old and above. Um, to be honest, if it even if it even if it's you are even if you are 18 years old, I'll still wait for your beard, your hair to to grow first before like give it a time. You know, that's basically give it a time. Don't don't rush it because you don't want you're too young and you don't wanna apply different kind of stuff in your face and things can get worse, you know, can can get acne or some people did experience acne while applying minoxidil. So Make sure give it a time. Like you're, uh, you're still young. For the people, for the people out there that are, are eighteen years and younger, please give it a time. Um, even though I've heard um, people um, using it when they were sixteen or seventeen years old, but make sure you, you, uh, you give your body time to, to to mature that's it for for this update again thank you for your patience and for everything for all the supports and for all the likes even the dislikes um please uh, uh for the people that uh wanted to to keep updated for my beer journey and even for all the things that that I will be posting soon, you know, um, updates, any uh, any uh, product reviews or anything regarding minoxidil. Um, please don't forget to to hit like and subscribe and the notification as well. Or if you are interested of 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 anything regarding about art, um, I do. Uh, sketch um videos as well so make sure you you subscribe and even travel videos i do too and speaking of travel i'll be traveling to to calgary this coming june for my birthday so watch out for my travel blog and my travel video soon and i'll be keep keeping you guys posted and hope to see you guys soon okay thank you and have a great day bye